Wikipedia defines a mass extinction, aka an extinction event, as a widespread and rapid decrease in the biodiversity on Earth. Such an event is identified by a sharp change in the diversity and abundance of multicellular organisms. So basically, when a whole bunch of organisms die all at once due to natural causes, which is kind of refreshing to hear, because in this day and age, most deaths are caused by humans, and that's a little depressing. But nope, not these guys, they die due to good stuff like disease, Yay. lack of food, Woo. climatic conditions, yeah. or a massive space rock that's impossible to avoid and causes imminent death. Yeah. Wait, what? Yay! And throughout history, there have been a whole bunch of extinction events, most of which include over 50% of one or more species rapidly dying out due to natural causes. Which is kind of boring, so I'm just going to talk about the fun deaths. The Mesozoic era is most famous for being the age of the dinosaurs and is further divided into three sections, the Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous. Now while they did thrive in the time they were on the earth for over 165 million years, the dinosaurs good time was coming to an end in several ways. Firstly, a series of volcanic eruptions throughout the globe, combined with the regular rotation of the Earth's axial tilt, led to a rapid global warming, which wiped out a large chunk of dinosaur species ahead of time. And this means the dinosaurs were already on their way out when a massive space rock came along and decided to speed up the process a little bit. Yeah, those dinosaurs are probably wondering why that shooting star was getting so big, huh? Anyway, the remaining individuals were eradicated when a 10 km wide asteroid struck the Gulf of Mexico causing a mega earthquake that lasted several weeks along with the resultant shockwave causing a tsunami that caused further death and destruction. What remained of the dinosaurs were killed due to suffocation or lack of food as the impact had kicked up a cloud of dust that darkened the surface of the earth for months, decimating the plant population. The tiniest of the dinosaurs survived and eventually evolved into modern birds, and interestingly enough, crocodiles and alligators survived this event and are still around today. Despite the catastrophic aftermath, the biggest cause of the deaths was the extreme but brief rise in temperature, hence mammals which were living in burrows and aquatic organisms survived for the most part. Aside from the most popular dinosaur extinction events, there were several others, with several unpronounceable names, that preceded it. But since most of them were caused only by climate change and other natural processes, and only wiped out a small portion of the overall dinosaur species, there isn't really much to get into, but I just thought it was worth mentioning. Now that I've discussed a naturally induced extinction event, let me talk about one that is caused by human activities. The Homocene extinction, also known as the Anthropocene extinction, coming from the word anthropogenic, meaning human induced. Refers to an extinction event in which extinctions have occurred at over 1000 times the background extinction rate since the year 1900, and this rate is still increasing. The mass extinction itself is a result of human activity driven by population growth and overconsumption of the Earth's natural resources. A 2019 study has shown that out of an estimated 8 million species, over 1 million could go extinct within a decade, making this the largest mass extinction ever since the end of the dinosaur age. On top of that, a 2023 study concluded that at least 73 genera, which is the plural form of the word genus, have gone extinct since the year 1500. And the crazy thing is, if humans had never existed, this would have taken more than 18,000 years for the same genera to have disappeared naturally. To sum it all up, humans kinda suck. Which is why I'm ending this video with the story of how humans almost got extinct. Now even though there have been several events throughout human history which have nearly wiped out our species as a whole, I'm gonna be talking about one of the most impactful recent and biological ones. The one that knocked out a third of an entire continent in a span of 6 years. That's right, put on your black coats and bird masks. I'm talking about the bubonic plague. The bubonic plague, known colloquially as the Black Death, is one of the three plagues caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, which is spread from fleas. And the fleas may travel on animals such as rats and dogs, which is why rats were really feared in the 14th century Europe. Even though a few hundred cases of the disease are still reported in our world every year, we now have modern antibiotics to handle the infection. However, in the 1300s, we had no such luxury. As a result, a lot of people died. Between the years of 1347 and 1353, it killed a third of the European human population, which is one of the most unprecedented deaths caused by a virus or a bacteria in human history. The main mode of transportation for the bacteria internationally was the trade ships, and since these ships often contained grain, they always had a few rats lying around, which had a pretty good chance of having the bacterium that causes this disease. Some of the symptoms include chills, high fever, muscle cramps, seizures, open sores, and gangrene, which is not a really pretty sight. But hey, 
We need diseases sometimes to remind us of our mortality and also reminds humans as a whole that we are not in charge of nature. And as a plus, it kind of started a really cool trend. I mean, look at these plague doctor masks. They're so cool. I really want one. And that brings my video to an end. I guess the moral of the story is, enjoy your life and remember that humans are not in charge of the entire world. And if we ever get too out of line, who knows, we might just get a huge space rock that causes imminent death, right? Anyway, peace.